Today we're gonna to build some pretty basic conversational Siri shortcuts for our HomeKit setup. Uh, this will allow us to tell Siri to do something. She'll then ask us questions, allowing us to uh, further control our smart home based on our answers with Siri. Let's go. Movie night. Which app would you like to open? Netflix or Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Okay. Good night. Okay, Shane. Your first event tomorrow is John's birthday party. Tomorrow's weather will be 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. Do you want to set your work alarms for tomorrow? Yes or no? Yes. Done, Shane. Your 5.25 a.m. alarm is now on. Good night. Sleep tight. Yo, what's going on, guys? Thanks for joining me here on another video. For those new here, my name is Shane, and on this channel, I'm building an easy and affordable smart home using HomeKit. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out when I post new videos every week. Okay, so with the release of iOS 13, we got some pretty nice updates. We now have the ability to create conversational shortcuts, which is really cool. What that means is basically we can tell Siri to do something. She can then um, perform some actions and ask us uh, further questions. We can kind of go back and forth. I can respond and then she can do other things based on my answers to those questions. Now I've gotten some feedback from a lot of you guys regarding what kind of shortcuts you would like to see done. So today we're going to build out two pretty basic shortcuts that's going to control our smart home, our home kit smart home. Siri is going to ask us some questions. We'll respond and based on those responses, we'll alter um, what happens with our smart home. Now I want to preface all this and say I am in no way an expert or a programmer. So based on y'all's feedback, the first one we're going to build today is simply a movie night shortcut. So what this one's going to do is it's going to set our lights however we like it for watching a movie. And then it's going to turn on our TV and it's going to ask us what app we would like to open, whether it be Netflix, or Disney Plus. And of course, you can change this to fit you. Maybe you use Hulu, whatever it is, you'll be able to do this. And based on your answer, Siri will then open up that app on the TV and you'll be ready to go. And you'll be able to fire this off from your home pod or your phone, wherever you're at. The next one we're gonna build is gonna have a few more steps. Um, I've had some people say they wish they could toggle automations on and off based on whether or not they're working or not. So I think what a lot of people do is in the morning, you know, they have automation set to go off at 6 a.m. or whatever, and their lights come on. Well, some days they don't work, maybe there's a holiday or whatever. This is gonna fix that situation as well as give us a little more. So when we say goodnight, we're gonna have Siri tell us the weather for the next day, tell us the first event on our calendar the next day. She's gonna ask us if we want to set our work alarms or not, and based on that answer, she will either set our work alarm or not set our work alarm. And then all we have to do is set up a separate automation to turn on our morning scene based on our alarm. All right, so we're gonna jump into our shortcuts. I'm gonna use the iPad just so it's hopefully a little easier for you to see. Um, and we're gonna create a new shortcut. Let's name this movie time or movie night. Okay. Now, first thing we want to do is set our scene. So we will look for home, uh, control Watley home, control Watley home. And here you can choose all the lights individually, specifically that you want to control or a scene. Since I already have a movie time scene, I'm going to choose that one. Now we want Siri to ask us what we want to do next. So we're going to look for choose from menu. Okay. So choose from menu and we're going to, in the prompt, we're going to say which app would you like to open? Question mark. And here we put our options. We're going to choose Netflix. And of course you can change this to be whichever apps you want. You can add more if you like. We're going to do Netflix and Disney Plus. 
Okay, and now you see our options down here. So here's where we can add what we want to do. So I'm gonna search for remote. Now the way this works, if you have a HomeKit enabled TV, obviously you can turn that on and off just like you do any of your HomeKit devices in here. Um, if you don't and you have HDMI CEC enabled on your TV, when you wake your Apple TV, it'll automatically turn on your TV as well. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we just look for wake Apple TV. We're gonna pull this under Netflix. And here you need to choose which Apple TV and we're going to choose our living room and then we need to open app on apple tv pull that under here again choose living room and here we now have the option to choose which app and we're going to look for netflix there we go all right now it's going to open netflix on living room so if we choose netflix it's going to wake the apple tv and then open netflix on the living room all right now we're going to do the same thing for disney plus Wake Apple TV. Living room. Now open app on Apple TV. Pull this under here. Choose our bedroom. And then choose Disney Plus. So now we run the shortcut. It's gonna set our HomeKit scene. And then it's gonna ask us to choose from a menu which app we'd like to open and we can choose Netflix or Disney Plus, and depending on which one we choose, it will open the appropriate app. And that's it for this one. So now we can test it out by running it here, and it set our scene. Now it says which app would you like to open, Netflix or Disney Plus. If you choose which one, it'll then open that on the TV. Now let's see how this works when we're using our HomePod. Movie night. Which app would you like to open? Netflix or Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Okay. All right, now for our second shortcut, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna create a new shortcut. So first what we need to do is get the weather information and our upcoming events so that we can use it later. So let's start by getting the weather. So we're gonna search for weather weather forecast when we want daily weather at current location so that's good now what this does is this gets the every day's weather so we actually just want tomorrow's weather now play around with this a little bit that's how i figured it out but uh, what you're going to look for here is get item from list get item from list all right, and we actually want the second item from this list because it's, it's giving us every day's weather. So if we get the second item, that will be tomorrow's weather. So we're gonna get item at index and we want two from weather conditions. Okay, that's good. Next, we want to get our calendar events and we're getting all this information so that we can call it up later. Get upcoming events is what we want. Our upcoming events, so we got get one event from calendars. Okay, be sure to tap show more and choose tomorrow so that we're only getting the events from tomorrow. Now we want to count that so we can see if it's more than zero. So if there's no events, we obviously don't want it to say anything. So we're going to look for count. We're going to add this. We're going to count items in upcoming events. It kind of adds that automatically. All right, next we're gonna run an if statement. That'll say, if we have more than one event, we wanna do this, otherwise do nothing. So if, add your if statement. So if the count is greater than zero, we want to add some text. I'm gonna add that here. And what this text will say, is your first event tomorrow is then we can choose upcoming events all right so we can use this text later on is what we're going to do so choose done 
And now we want to start our interaction with Siri. So we're going to look for choose from menu again. All right. And here I'm actually in the prompt. This is where I'm actually going to have Siri talk to us a little bit. So we're going to say, we're going to look for our text. We're going to add that. So it'll tell us our upcoming event if there is one. And then we'll say tomorrow's weather will be now we're going to choose that item let's look for it you can tap that and choose uh, your magic variable so item from list that's the one we want right there now we'll say do you want to set your work alarms for tomorrow all right now obviously the options are going to be yes or no if you choose yes we'll look for our alarm so you can just type in alarm clock will show up um, here's my work alarm so I'll add that and if yes then we will turn our work alarm on you can actually go ahead just in case maybe it's on for some reason you can choose turn work alarm off if you choose no all right so now to top it all off let's go to scripting and we'll look for uh, show result and here we're going to clear that let's see we're going to clear that and just say good night sleep tight all right and let's test this out let's see so it should get all of our weather information our calendar information if we have an event on our calendar for tomorrow it will tell us that here and it will also tell us our weather information <clears throat> then ask if we want to set our work alarms for tomorrow uh, if yes it will turn it on if no it won't Let's choose next oh we got to name this one let's call this good night now you want to make sure whatever you name your shortcuts you don't already have a name an existing name uh, for when your home kit scenes or another shortcut that way if you're using siri or something uh, she'll get the shortcut right all right, and there it is. So the idea for this one is that this is a shortcut that you're gonna to wanna to run every night. So you can either tell Siri good night or you could you know, set this up with an NFC sticker by your bed, something like this. You wanna get in the habit of running this one every night. So it'll run through those scenes, ask if you wanna set your alarm or not. Now what we're gonna do is create a different automation that's only gonna run when we snooze that work alarm. The idea here is that our morning lights, you know, in our bedroom or whatever, uh, will come on only when that alarm is snoozed. So on the days you're not working or it's a holiday, you didn't set your work alarms, those lights aren't gonna wake you up at six in the morning or whenever. So now what we can do is we can create a new automation here. Choose new, uh, create a personal automation. And we're gonna use an alarm, okay? And we're gonna choose when the alarm is snoozed. And you can choose which alarm right here. So we'll choose an existing alarm and choose our work alarm. Next, add action. And here we're gonna look for our home control Watley home and now uh, we can just run our good morning scene or again you can choose specific lights uh, so I can go to let's see let's go to my bedroom and choose the headboard and maybe the lamp okay turn them on done so now when I snooze that alarm it's going to turn on my lights 
and only then. So if I tell Siri not to set my alarms, then these uh, lights will not come on in the morning and wake me up. All right, that's all we have to do for this one. Let's test it out. Good night. Okay, Shane, your first event tomorrow is John's birthday party. Tomorrow's weather will be 60.8 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. Do you want to set your work alarms for tomorrow? Yes or no? Yes. Done, Shane. Your 5.25 a.m. alarm is now on. Good night, sleep tight. And there you go. There's our two shortcuts that we built today. As you can see, using these um, features like choose from list, choose from menu, um, if then statements, it's not that complicated. You can really start to create some dynamic shortcuts that allow you to really do a lot more um, all within one shortcut and interact with Siri. These things are really cool. Hopefully this here gave you some ideas uh, for building your own shortcuts. So what I'll do is I'll actually post this video along with links to these actual shortcuts that we built here on my website. That'll be linked down below in case you just wanna download them to your phone and you can start you know, kind of playing around with them and edit them to suit your needs. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Of course, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Again, I'm no expert, but hopefully we can find some answers and other people can help out. There's lots of people out there a lot smarter than me doing some really amazing things with these shortcuts. So uh, share some ideas down below. Also, maybe some really cool creative things that you're doing with shortcuts and Siri and HomeKit in your home. Thanks for watching guys. Again, my name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an affordable and easy smart home using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, check back every week because I'm posting a new HomeKit video right here. In the meantime, check out some of these other videos up here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see y'all later.